When you check the Medicaid numbers for nursing home care, you can scroll down and see that Massachusetts Medicaid regulations give a generous allowance to applicants and their spouses when it comes to their home. The principal residence equity exclusion increases with inflation each year and allows the spouse to keep the home. But the regulations say the equity exclusion applies to the home and makes it non-countable only if it is located in Massachusetts. So what happens to the home of a couple from Connecticut when one spouse needs care in a Massachusetts nursing home? So this question about the location of the principal residence is important to Connecticut clients who need Massachusetts Medicaid coverage in order to be able to stay in a Massachusetts nursing home. Answers to the question can be found in a court case involving a couple from 1993, more than two decades ago. The husband in that case suffered a stroke when visiting their daughter in Massachusetts. He received care in a Massachusetts nursing home. The wife continued to stay with their daughter in Massachusetts, but wanted to keep the mobile home that they owned in Florida. The couple was told their mobile home in Florida was a countable asset, and they'd have to sell or liquidate the home before Medicaid would pay the nursing home in Massachusetts. But the Superior Court judge noted that state and federal Medicaid laws do not say that the Medicaid applicant's primary residence must be located in the same state in which Medicaid coverage for nursing home care is sought. The laws and regulations do say that the former home of an institutionalized individual becomes a countable asset only if none of the relatives on this list is living in the property. The list includes the applicant's spouse. Another regulation says that the nursing facility resident can transfer the former home that he or she used as the principal residence to any of the relatives on this list, including a spouse. The Superior Court judge decided that if the wife is found to reside in Florida while only temporarily staying with her daughter in Massachusetts, their mobile home in Florida would be exempt. So, even though a regulation says the home equity exclusion applies to the home only if it's located in Massachusetts, other laws and cases protect couples when one spouse needs care and the home is located in another state. Thank you.